Hey, Azumi here, and I'm doing Blossom Banquet 8-star with an unconventional team. Oop. Gear, not that. Here we go. Gother. Now you can pause it if you want to really look. Try to make it short as I can. And Poel. Alright, let's go. Yay, there's my thumbnail. Now I don't have to even look for one. I do this one auto. I mean, not auto, but manual. Manual. And, yeah, there's a pretty big chance Aquaria is not going to make it. So let's hope. Goes the crystals looking good so far. I'm gonna save these three for the next for the next uh, phase. And Poel, I'll use every chance she comes around because of uh, the quick. But yeah, if you got your setup right, you don't really need a melee in this fight. Alright, now I want to spam this. Okay, get rid of these crystals as quick as possible. Because they give her buffs and they debuff you. And they give her a reflection against light attack. Like, light, light any kind of attack. There we go, one left. Come on, get rid of it. There we go. I don't I want to save my attacks again for the next round like I did before. Yeah, be careful with the flyers on this one too because they'll give you corrupt. Oops, I shouldn't have did that one. Oops. It happens. It'll probably build back up before. Nah, no it won't. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Get rid of this phase. Let's move on. I like trying to do stuff like this with unconventional teams and running no melees or all melees or all back row or something. You don't want to do that in arena, but it's fun to do on connect battles. Alright, come on, hit him with all three of these. Alright, gotta get him before Aquaria dies. Oh, there we go. All crystals are down. She's corrupt, that's why she's dying. Here's Earth skill, maybe that'll save her. But I won anyway. And Golbig probably did the most damage. Yeah, there we go. So, it took a little bit of time, but it's more fun trying to do weird teams. Here we go. Yeah, vastly a million more damage almost than Gother did, but yep. So, that's about it, and thank you for watching. If I can find the button to cut it off.